There are many amazing specialty coffee shops in Prague, yet there is one that stands out. When you enter it, you will see bright, spacious and minimalist cafe using top-notch equipment to brew rare and exceptional coffees. We asked the owner, Jackie Tran, to give us a tour. We are in front of Maze Lab Coffee in Prague and I'm here with the, the owner or co-owner and uh, the brain behind the whole concept. He'll, he will give us a tour and kind of show us, from our point of view, unique coffee shop, not only in Prague, but in the whole Europe. So let's take a look. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this video is sponsored by Standard, a print magazine about coffee culture. when you are kind of entering the coffee shop so for mm -hmm. you it's kind of like entering it's like a, um, a different world right yeah right exactly for me it's like you escaping from the from the city and to enter to a place where is everything is like calm uh, chill yeah you, you you coming to the place where you can relax and drink a good coffee As a former visual designer, Jackie played a key role when creating the interior of the cafe. We asked him about his goal and inspiration. My first thought was I want a, a big place where people don't feel like they sit like just next to each other. Um, I want a place where people can, can be comfortable here. And I got inspiration a lot from Asia, especially from uh, South Korea. There are a lot of very nice designed shops there and some coffee shops from uh, Germany as well mm -hmm. like um, Bonanza, uh, Tonquis from ha Hamburg and also a lot of um, coffee shops from uh, Vietnam, my hometown, uh, um, Hanoi. It took quite a lot of effort to rebuild the former car repair shop into a trendy coffee shop with multiple zones and areas. The, the wall here um, didn't exist there at all. So it was a big, big place. But I wanted to divide because I want uh, two different kind of like uh, um, spaces. The space in the back is for bigger groups, public cuppings or people who simply want more privacy. On the opposite side of the wall, the small groups or couples can sip coffee while enjoying a view on the bar. Before we taste some delicious coffee at Maze Lab, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Standard Magazine. It's a beautiful print coffee magazine that began with the idea that good coffee should be accessible to everyone. We have all the issues since the number one and after a complete redesign in number 19, we just received issue 20 with the theme Words, Flowers and Coffee. Every issue has 15 articles, stories, interviews or essays from some of the brightest minds in coffee. What's really cool is that if you buy a yearly subscription like we do, every new issue comes with a sample of delicious coffee. This time, it was Nicaraguan coffee roasted by Origin in the UK. So our ritual is opening the box, brewing a cup of coffee and reading through the magazine. It's something that we look forward to every three months. So if you are not a subscriber yet, you should go to standardmag.com and for $69, you get a yearly subscription that covers four issues of the standard magazine with three four by chipping and three coffee samples from some of the best roasters in the world. That looks like a good deal to us. Now let's get back to Maze Lab coffee. What, what kind of coffees do you use? What kind of coffees do you serve at Maze Lab or how do you, yeah. how do you pick the coffees? Mostly uh, take coffee from uh, La Cabra and we got some very special lots from, uh, from them. Uh, also, we, we ordered some coffee from uh, Momo's Coffee, which is from South Korea. Okay. Yeah, and a uh, cupping room from uh, Hong Kong. And we always like looking for um, like sp special specialty coffee. About a couple weeks ago, we, we got seven geishas at once. So we have we got different options of geishas and different type of uh, very rare coffee. How often people order it? Is it, is it? is it common or is it like, I mean, is it 10 percent, 1 percent of people coming here? I would say, order? I would say like 70 percent people come here and order Geisha coffee. 70 percent? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. A lot there. of people. Yeah. We are really happy for that because we didn't expect it at all. 
Of course, we couldn't resist but taste Geisha coffee from 90 plus that Chiki brewed for us using V60. He did it on the brew bar, which is one of four segments or bar areas with a specific role and setting when it comes to water. Behind the brew bar, there is a batch brew station where we ask Cheki about the selection of brewing equipment for Maze Lab. Yeah, when I, when I was thinking about the, which kind of machines, which kind, which kind of uh, um, machines that we can show here at the bar, we wanted something that looks uh, very minimalist. The design should be, should be nice. And yeah, for, for batch brew, I think that um, hipster looks very cool. Yeah, and, and it works like really well. And yeah, it just fits here. And I, I, I don't mean that, that all the machines are bad or something, but uh, it's about design as well. So it was my first choice. Yeah. Then we moved to the espresso bar with a customized espresso machine from Kies van der Westen Spirit, white Victoria Arduino Mythos grinder for regular espresso menu, and EG1 Onyx for special espresso menu. Uh, right now we got a uh, Geisha uh, Village Yellow uh, 12 and uh, Bambito, which is a um, Barista Champion uh, winning coffee mm -hmm. from uh, 2015. Would you like some? Yeah, let's, yeah. let's try it. <laughs> To taste, what should I expect? Well, you should um, a lot of flora, floral. Um, the smell is amazing. Yeah, especially lavender is it's overwhelming. After we tasted more coffees than we should, we wanted to finish our tour on a very prominent spot, just in front of the bar. It's supposed to be like like um, like you sit at a park and uh, drink coffee, and just this is actually um, the place where you can just wait for your coffee to go, you know, and you don't have to to stand. You just sit down and look at the look at the at bar. A, at a show, right? Yeah, right. Sure. Yeah, I always always tell tell to my. Uh, my team that um, it's your it's your, it's your stage so when visiting Prague Maze Lab coffee should be definitely on the list of coffee shops to visit you don't even need to order any geisha or rare coffee to enjoy the experience what's also interesting is that Maze Lab coffee is not the first nor the last coffee project from Jackie and his team in Prague besides Maze Lab coffee in Davidsa district you can visit Cafe Finn in Vinohrady and also two new projects that opened in 2020, Format Coffee in Letna and Botanica Coffee Truck in Vršovice.